Hi, I'm WTOP film critic Jason Fraley, and all month long we're ranking the best movies in every genre, and today we are going to break down my list of the best adventure movies. Now I know what you're thinking, what's the difference between an adventure movie today and the action movies that we did yesterday? You're right, there is a lot of crossovers, especially with like a Raiders of the Lost Ark. But for adventure, I decided to go with stuff that's man versus nature, survival tales, castaways, kind of like Tom Hanks and Castaway, or Life of Pi, movies like that. A lot of them also have a bit of a, a travel or a journey adventure involved. So that's where we get movies like Treasures of the Sierra Madre or The Wages of Fear, where they have to haul the trucks of nitroglycerin off over the the bumpy roads, Fitzcarraldo, Werner Herzog hauling a steamship across South America. Movies that have a little bit of uh, travel involved in them also qualified here. You can't have an adventure list without some swashbucklers, which includes a lot of high seas adventures like Johnny Depp's Captain Jack Sparrow in Pirates of the Caribbean, or other high seas older movies like Mutiny on the Bounty with Charles Lawton and Clark Gable. You'll also find that we didn't include Errol Flynn's The Seahawk, even though I love the music in that one, but we did include Errol Flynn. He is in Like Flynn for The Adventures of Robin Hood, which is a very different kind of swashbuckler with a little bit of archery involved. Now, not only do we want to include high seas adventures, we also wanted to include some space adventures where mankind tested its metal against the bounds of gravity. That includes the right stuff, which charts everything from Chuck Yeager breaking the sound barrier in an airplane to Ed Harris as John Glenn out in the space missions. We also, include, of course, included Apollo 13, where Tom Hanks and Kevin Bacon and Bill Paxton had to get back to Earth after a ship malfunction. And along similar lines, I also threw in Gravity, as Sandra Bullock and George Clooney had to survive a wreck. Now, I know you're asking, why isn't that sci-fi? We had to make some judgment calls here, and I went to Alfonso Cuaron's own statement, where he said it isn't. Uh, a sci-fi movie because it all takes place with current technology in outer space. It's just the concept and premise of a disaster in space and the rest is actually a space adventure of Sandra Bullock having to get back to Earth also in a 90-minute panic attack if you ask me that won the best director in 3D IMAX for Alfonso Cuarón. Also in the adventure genre, I also wove in a few movies you might deem a creature feature or maybe even a monster movie, but there's a reason. Movies like King Kong open with a big journey to a crazy skull island where they capture the beast. And yeah, we all remember the New York stuff, but a lot of it is an adventure out with dinosaurs and a giant ape. We also included Jurassic Park along similar lines, where paleontologists get together with a couple greedy money men to go to a theme park also out on an island of Isla Neblar. And of course the dinosaurs take over, but a lot of times you'll see the same man versus nature qualities that I include here in the adventure genre. Now of all these great movies, how did I decide what topped the list? I debated putting North by Northwest at the top Hitchcock's cross-country adventure, but actually made that at number two. It's a great cross-country journey. It actually inspired the title of the South by Southwest Festival. Thank you. You're welcome, guys. But also, uh, Hitchcock's journey is Cary Grant on planes, trains, automobiles. He is chased by a crop duster, and it ends with him scaling Mount Rushmore. As if that's not an adventure, I don't know what. But for me, the top slot... Indiana Jones in Raiders of the Lost Ark. That, I mean, to me, that's a no-brainer. Harrison Ford's Indy is not only the guy that I wanted to be as a kid, but probably the greatest action-adventure hero of all time. And the reason that I'd say, yes, there are action sequences, but the reason I think it's an adventure is you get snakes, you get whips, you get boulders, you get trying to uncover as an archaeologist uh, biblical artifacts. Uh, to me, you even have the plane going with the little line on the map as he travels. To me, yes, it's action, but to me, it is the greatest adventure movie of all time. See my full top 25 adventure movies on WTOP.com's entertainment page. Join the conversation on our blog and tune in tomorrow as we discuss the greatest animation movie.